My name's Les White. Leslie Jean White. I'm from Bone County, West Virginia. I'm here with Julian and the gang, hanging out, having a good time. And what are you going to do first? I'm going to cut the sleeves of this T-shirt that uh, Storm got me. My favorite word. Call the law. Boo boo, Judy. That's just my favorite word. Call the law. That's all you hear in this town. Hey, he got it. Okay. He got it. Oh. skin and a deer, ain't it? What type? He got like a deer. Call the law. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Storm. Love you, brother. Julia, Jane, Boo Boo, Judy. And how are these kids? How do you know these kids? They just, uh, Mamie's uh, boy's kids, uh, Wimpy's kids. It's a Tom T and it's a Donna. Gas is different than light of food now. You take light of food and it's like doing a great hit of acid or something. You'll laugh all night, smoke your big joint. But that gas, man, it's like a big swarm of hornets or something in your head going boom, 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 boom. boom. You're riding that motorcycle wide open, that big swarm in your head, you don't think about them on the wide open. <laughs> it's awesome. I, I wouldn't do a lot of things I did for one. Drugged up, you know, drunk or something. Hey, we'd just go out in the nighttime, man. Latest you could get, man, in the dark. And just go in people's trailers, you know, don't go on vacation. See what you can find inside. Come out with a drunk or help, maybe find a case of beer, or shitload of money, guns, or anything. You know. Take it and go. <laughs> What's the best thing you ever found robbing someone's house? 28,000 cash. I told my man's dad now, so he can't prove it. <laughs> but I didn't get it. This bitch I married to got it. My ex wife got it. 28,000 in that shoebox. So tell me the whole story. I guess start with tell me about your brother and what happened to him. It was on a, a lit creek at a buddy's uh, house. It was on uh, New Year's in 1997. Uh, my brother was going to a New Year's party up in Chapmanville. And I tried to get him to stay up us, you know, party bus and shit. And uh, this guy kept on aggravating him, said, come on, Mike, let's go, we'll have a good time. And they sat and just felt weird about it. I didn't want him to go with this guy, man, or something. You know? I wanted him to stick around with me. He went ahead and went. I said, well, I'll see you in a couple hours. I said, don't stay gone too long. Come back up here. He got to drinking in the motel and everything. They uh, called this girl to come over. And this girl come over. And he got to drinking and everything. I guess got drunk. And my brother was talking to this girl. And this other guy got jealous. And uh, sent the girl to the ride aid to get beer. And what time she was gone. I had beat the hell out of my brother and killed him, shot him in the head with a 38 pistol. And it kind of tore me all up and stuff. I was sitting at the house cleaning my shotgun. I was getting ready to go hunting the next morning. And my ex-wife kept aggravating me, wanting to go see her sister. I said, you take the car and go see your sister. I'm cleaning my gun and going hunting in the morning, get things off my mind. I'm going to see her and drink me a few beers. I might go over and see George, my neighbor. She kept aggravating me, wanting to go down the road. I said, no, I'm telling you, I ain't going to tell you no more. I said, take the car and go. I said, you're starting to piss me off. So I just got pissed off and I took me another big swig of whiskey and drank a beer. I put a shell on a gun and I said, I'll just get rid of all of these pain. I'll just do it away myself. I put the gun up on the couch, arm like that, put it up on my chest. I was going to shoot myself right on the chest. And I pulled the trigger back on the gun. He fell down off my chest and blew my arm and my TV all up. I was mad at him. <laughs> he drove me nuts, man. I just went off. I couldn't help it. He drove me crazy. And then what happened? I laid over at my buddy's uh, living room floor and a photo of blood about that big around, drinking beer, waiting on a paramedic to come and get me. I laid up about 45 minutes before he come and get me and helped and added me to Charleston. They saved my arm, though. That's one good thing. <laughs> How many beers did you drink that night while you were waiting for the paramedics? Six tall boys, 16 ounces. <laughs>
I know you recently got in some trouble, and can you tell me all about what you got in trouble for? I guess somebody had brought this undercover cop into my apartment. And I sold him a little bit of smoke and told me I had to report to uh, the jailhouse on May the 12th before noon. The only reason they let me stay out now is because I had to have a surgery on my elbow here. I do six months. Fuck West Virginia and fuck the goddamn law. <laughs> and they want to give me six months for uh, selling to an undercover cop that I don't think I really sold to. Don't even know if the story's true or not. So I just cut out, went to fucking and I'm having a ball. Come and get me, law. Judy. Hey, baby, what's up? Oh. Come on, baby. Hey. <laughs> Call the law, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> we got it all! <laughs> we got it. Fuck Boone County! Boo Boo, call the law duty!